What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another FNAF audiobook. And, and like, I didn't think that this would be coming for a while, right? I didn't think there'd be another book series at all for, for a long time, maybe like a few years. But it seems like we have a new FNAF series coming, uh, FNAF book series coming, and it's, it's going to be a bunch of interactive novels. And it really, really intrigues me. I wonder if there is some sort of law that could come out of this. Basically, what an interactive novel is, is it, it's kind of like a find your own, or like, um, yeah, find your own adventure, right? It, it's where you kind of go through uh, and, and you make the choices along the way. So I'm, try I'm kind of trying to find a good way to do these sorts of audiobooks, because of course I want to read through them with you and get my reaction for them. But the thing is, I, I don't really know how to do them. I guess what I could do is I could have one video that then leads to another video that then leads to another video, like kind of following the choices along. I think that could be a very good way of doing it. It would just take me quite a while to put together, but I, I think that's probably the best way of doing it. So that, of course, you can come to my channel and you can make the decisions for yourself as well. Um, so yeah. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be reading a sample of the Zeroth uh, book in this series. It is called VIP, and I say it's the Zeroth book because, I mean, I mean, technically it's the first, right? But this is like a, a 10th anniversary special, and it's going to be like an introduction to what is to come in this book series later on. We have one that is releasing in September called... Um, the week before, yeah, the week before, I believe. Um, and so that is going to be very interesting because it's, it's kind of like FNAF 1 related, phone guy. But uh, this one's called VIP and I am very excited. This this as well is like a free book. This is a free book so anyone can go on the internet and read it. It is actually coming out 3rd of August 2024. So there you go. And... Um, Here's like a little description. I'm not going to read it because we're going to have a read through of the preview today. But um, yeah, 3rd of August 2024, when the full book releases then, uh, which is in like a week, that is mad. When the full book releases, I will of course be reading through that as well. So make sure you subscribe so you can see that. Let's have a look at the first part and maybe if there are any choices here, I can... I can kind of trial trial this sort of video style. So there might be a video to click on at the end of this video, and then you can make the decision for yourself, whatever. Anyway, here we go. We have an intro. This is very cool. So you, Devon. Okay, first of all, <laughs> why are we called Devon? Um, I'm, I'm really hoping that that has nothing to do with Devon from The New Kid. Um, I'm assuming it's not because Devon in The New Kid actually dies. So unless it's a prequel, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be the same Devon. But interesting nevertheless. You, Devon, are the luckiest 12-year-old boy in the world because you just won two special VIP passes to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. There we go. So it's definitely not a prequel to The New Kid. And all day, all you can eat... All expenses paid experience for you and one of your best. You're bringing Ike, Mom says, looking at the colourful printout in your hand that, that shows Glamrock Freddy pointing at you with the words, You're a winner. What I find interesting about this, first of all, is something that I, I think is very, isn't very popular with, with novels and books, just in general. And that's that it's it's writing in the second person, right? You, you A lot of the time you have first person, so like, oh, I went and did this, I went and did that. Then you have third person, which I would say is even more common, where it's like, Devon did this, Devon did that. Now, now in these books, it seems like we're getting, you did this, you did th that. It's trying to put us in the world of Freddy's, and I really appreciate that because I'm sure it's very difficult to write, right? But, um... Yeah, it's, it, it, it seems that we're going to get quite quite in-depth. And it's even better when I'm doing audiobooks because I, I can even talk to you, you know? Like, you did this. Um, so there you go. What? No. Mom. 
you wail. You can't think of anything less fun than spending the whole day with the mobile snot, snot factory that is your six-year-old brother. Yes! Ike shouts. Did that sound like a question or a suggestion? Mom crosses her arms. Either you both go or no one goes. Poof! There goes your dream of being the most popular kid in your class, at least while everyone competes to be the one to join you at the pizzaplex. Fine, you sulk. You, Devon, are the unluckiest 12-year-old boy in the world because you just won two special VIP passes to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex for you and your little brother. I'm sorry to keep interrupting. I really like this so far because that's that's very comedic. It's kind of paralleling the first part of this. But also, it you the, the fact that it is second person is really cool, actually, because it can kind of show a lot of thoughts that are going on internally in the characters, and I really like that. You have to waste one of your precious VIP passes on your brother, but this is still going to be so much fun. You can just ignore the tag-along like you usually do while you have the time of your life. Even though you live near the Pizzaplex, you hardly ever get to go. Your boring parents don't like the flashy lights and noise, and they say it's overpriced and the animatronics are disconcerting, <laughs> which you think means they don't like the glam rock band's music. It's been ages since you were there last, at a classmate's birthday party, but it seems like the place gets bigger every year and they're just always adding new rides. As you explore the Pizzaplex, you'll face many choices that lead to various outcomes. Before you begin this adventure, make sure you have something to write on. There will be many details to keep track of and certain pages will provide special instructions you'll want to remember. You may even need to do some simple math. Hang on a second, is it actually talking to us? Are we actually going to have to do some math? <laughs> wait, 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 as you explore the pizza place. No way. Before you begin this adventure, make sure you have something to... So it's not just an interactive novel in the sense that it's make your own choices. It's also interactive in the fact that it's kind of like a puzzle book. That is sick. Okay, I mean, we're going to see what it's like in a minute, but that's really cool if it's if it's like that. Um, so you'll even need to do some simple math. Sorry. For example, if you find an item that you want to hold on to, write it down for later, and when you use it, cross it out. No cheating. Ready, Freddy? What? That's so sick. Okay, so maybe I'll have to even do some editing or something like that. I don't know how I'm going to do these videos, man. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. If you want to play on easy difficulty, add two Faz tokens to your inventory and tap or touch here. If you want to play on normal difficulty, start out with your wits and touch here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're ready. Already we have a choice, right? We can either play on easy difficulty or we can play on normal difficulty. I guess this is where I, I have to say, here's, here's where we make our choice, right? So if we want to start on easy, then click on the video to go to easy mode. And if you want to play on normal, then go to the video that says normal mode. I would say just as a reminder, this is only a preview, so it's not going to really affect much, I don't really think. But um, this is just kind of like t a test, right, to see if this actually works. So there should be two video links on the screen right now, and you can click either one and go to the next video. I'll see you there.